what we're going to be looking at here is just a summary analysis here between our LIFO inventory method here and our FIFO inventory method and how they compare for net income here generated and the effect that they have here on our cash balance. So what we're going to be looking at here is just an example here where we have some purchases here and then we have some sales here and we're just going to be looking at one month here. We're not going to go through the numbers. I just want to point out here uh, what, what we have here for our purchases here. Our purchases here are going to have rising prices in this example and that's what we're going to be looking at here. Rising prices for purchases here. We also have rising prices here for our sales. We're not going to go through the number. We're just going to look at uh, the basic difference here between LIFO and FIFO inventories and we're going to be looking at uh, generating our cost of goods sold off our sales here. And for example here just uh, our purchased items here we just got for one month here where we have 6-1 as the beginning of the month here and then 6-27 as the end of the month here. Now with this uh, FIFO and I, we're just going to look at the periodic here we're not going to go through the numbers just to, for if, we're, it's just based on a periodic system here, FIFO. Now, FIFO here, that's where, again, the first units purchased here, or that would be the earliest one here in June, uh, June 1st and on. They're used first here against the sales that we used here. So you can see that our first purchases here are used to, get, uh, used to cost out our sales for the period here. So our cost of goods sold, and that's all we want to look at is the number here. It would uh, We calculated out to be $20,300. That's based on uh, using these uh, earlier purchases here first to cost our to go and cost out our sales here against against their sales here. Now uh, just moving down here to the LIFO inventory method now that's where that's just the opposite here that's where the last in is the first out so the last goods purchased are or made are used first. So that's just the opposite here when we go to LIFO we go down to the end of the month here and we use these earlier purchases here or uh, not the earlier the latest purchases here are used to cost out uh, are used to cost our uh, sales here any sales that we make here our cost of goods sold are going to come out these most current purchases here or the latest purchases here and uh, just going through again for our LIFO here the only thing we want to come out with here is the cost of goods sold that would have been generated in this case it was twenty two thousand dollars so again for LIFO here these Earlier or the newest purchases here are used first here against any of the sales that we make for the period here. So let's go up and look at our uh, over here uh, again. Lose a comparative uh, analysis here for our net income that would have been generated here based on this example. And again, the example example here assumes prices are rising. The opposite would be true if prices are declining, but we're going to be just looking at prices rising. So um, just comparing our uh, for our net income here between the FIFO and the LIFO method here. Well, we had some sales. We won't go through all those numbers here, but the sales were generated here. And then the cost of goods sold against those sales here. For FIFO, you can see we had a lower cost of goods sold here, $20,300, than the LIFO of $22,000. The reason the FIFO here was lower is because we used these earlier purchases or the first purchases uh, were used to cost out our sales here. So those were lower prices here so we're going to have a lower cost of goods sold than the FIFO method. The FIFO used the latest prices or the highest prices here against those sales to cost out those sales here. And you can see here uh, the gross profit here because uh, you can see it's higher here under the FIFO method versus the LIFO method because our cost of goods sold here were lower with the um, FIFO versus the LIFO here. And then we just have some operating expenses. I'm just going through this here as an example to show you what would be included here to calculate our net income. So operating expenses just the same here and income before taxes. Now this is an important item here because well we want to we have to know what our income is here so we can determine our tax amount here. So just summing all our amounts here, subtracting out our cost of goods sold and our as and subtracting our operating expenses here from our gross profit, excuse me, we're going to come up with our income before our taxes here. So you can see here our income before taxes is higher under the FIFO method here versus our LIFO method here. And then just taking our taxes, we'll just say a 20% tax rate here, we calculate out our taxes 
taxes here and then subtracting out our, our taxes taxes here from our income before taxes we're going to come up with net income here FIFO $14,240 versus LIFO which is $12,880 here so you can see the FIFO has a uh, greater net income here than the LIFO here so if we look at both the gross profit and a net income, they're lowest under the LIFO and highest under the FIFO here. So you can see our gross profit here is higher under FIFO than it is LIFO, and also our net income here is higher under FIFO than it is LIFO. Now, let's go down and look at how our cash balance works. Now, this could has just the opposite effect here. Again, FIFO and the LIFO. Just say we had a beginning cash balance here of $10,000 uh, for each here. And then uh, sales here. This is would be the same here for each of those. We had those sales here, 48100 We subtract out the purchases, the same amount here for the purchases of 36600 Then our operating expenses Again, we subtract those out here. And then comes in our taxes here. That was the taxes that we had generated under FIFO and LIFO here. $3,560 here for FIFO, $3,220 here for LIFO. So you can see the FIFO taxes was greater here than our LIFO tax. So uh, taking out and adding up our totals here, subtracting out our our taxes, our operating expenses, and our purchases here from our sales and our beginning cash balance, we come up with an end cash amount here under FIFO here of $7,940 versus LIFO here where we have an ending cash balance that is greater here, $8,280. And the reason for that is here is a LIFO results in a higher cash balance at the year end because taxes are lower. You can see here the taxes are lower under the LIFO versus our FIFO amount. All other items here are constant, but I just want to go through this here so you can understand how you generate a cash balance here, or determine your ending cash, uh, starting with your beginning cash balance here. So again, uh, LIFO results in a higher ca or a higher cash balance here than FIFO. And if we go back over here and look at our net income here, you can see just the opposite is true here. FIFO has a greater a net income here than LIFO here. So just that's all we want to point out here is how you uh, use a comparative analysis here for our net income, FIFO versus LIFO, and also for our cash balance we looked at here, FIFO versus LIFO. Now, one other thing here, I just want to note here, if we used average costing was used here for calculating our inventory, the results are somewhere in the middle of LIFO and FIFO, which makes sense because we'd be using an average cost, whereas a LIFO here use the uh, uh, was the last in first out on our inventory and FIFO was the first in first out so uh, if you average them out here and use average costing you're going to come up with something in between both these LIFO and FIFO amounts.